The presence of dozens of armed security personnel at the premises of the Benue State House of Assembly provides a very strong hint of something unusual. That impression is further heightened by the official vehicle of the State Commissioner of Police parked at the entrance. Various lawmakers are seen in groups discussing. We seek to find out from the House Majority Leader what the problem is. The police, the DSS, all have their own uh, mechanisms and apparatus of uh, gathering their various information. So it does appear, perhaps, that certain information that was available you know, to them at their domain uh, indicated, perhaps, that there was going to be uh, maybe a little breach of peace. In spite of that explanation, the man allegedly in the eye of the storm, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, seems to be oblivious of an alleged plot to remove him from that position. My colleagues, a few weeks ago, passed a vote of confidence on me, and there have not been any doubt in their minds as to my performance or credibility as the Speaker of the House. And I want to tell you that there was no move by the executive to impeach uh, the House. The security agencies would also not be drawn into any controversy among the lawmakers. But the Commission of Police seeks to justify the heavy security presence of police at the state's legislature. Police is everywhere, um, especially in the metro. Um, and we're doing this. Um, you, you must have seen convoy, a convoy patrol. We are doing this as a proactive measure because when things are happening, when rumors are being spread, and of course we also have a way of gathering intelligence, so it's everywhere that policemen have. Recent allegations of a growing rift between the state governor and a ranking senator, who is also the leader of the APC in Benue State, may be responsible for an increasingly charged political atmosphere that has seen a massive shake-up in the state's executive and the unease at the legislature.